With the help of the evil scientist, Dr. Arkville, the Decepticons use hypnochips to control the minds of human beings and create an army of slaves to produce a vast supply of energon cubes. Spike's father, Sparkplug, is captured by the Decepticons and turned into a mindless slave. And Megatron succeeds in bringing Cybertron into Earth's orbit, causing huge tidal waves and earthquakes which threaten to rip the planet apart as we begin the second episode of The Transformers. The Ultimate Doom. Never thought I'd be sad to see Cybertron. The Decepticons will triumph! <laughs> Join me, Spike! Join the Conquerors! Dad! Look, I told you, don't call me that! Actions may have cost Earth its future. You did what you had to do, Prime. What any of us would have done. Now there will be no power in the universe to resist me. Decepticon rule forever! <laughs> forever shorter than you think. Megatron, look out! Disruptor waves at once! Yes, Megatron. Audio disruptor waves! Don't come out, man! Vibes! Autobots! Transform and retreat! No! Are you okay, uh, Bumblebee? Yeah, except for a buzzing in my battery circuit. How about you, Spike? Okay? What's with them? They look like they just woke up in the middle of a bad dream. The audio disruptor waves have counteracted the effects of my hypno chips. I'll just have to create more slaves. What'd you say, Bumblebee? Am I okay? Yeah, fine. Here are your orders, Thundercracker. I... What is your excuse, Megatron? You let the enemy get away! <laughs> Cross me again, Starscream, and I'll reduce you to titanium fragments. What? We had the Autobots disoriented. We could have eliminated them. We'll do that at our leisure when our more important work is done. You have had the only warning I intend to give. Creating a mindless slave is simplicity itself, thanks to the brilliant complexity of my hypnochip. Take this slave to the holding chamber. You have reached Dr. Archiville. 
spare me your pomposity and report! Uh, yes! Your captives have been fitted with my hypnochips and are now completely under my control. Then you'll be provided with more raw material. I shall arrive shortly to oversee activities. <laughs> What the hell? You're 43 years old. You best start believing in good stories, Mr. Rogers. You're in one. Help! Help! <laughs> raw material for you, Doctor. Convert them into my slaves. <laughs> We name the monkey. Okay, who's first? How about hey. you? <laughs> you human sure can't take it. Megatron, emergency bulletin from Cybertron. Energy level critical. Tell Shockwave he will soon have enough energy to power Cybertron for eternity! Where are you? Right on your caboose, Pram! But I can't even see your taillights! I can't even see the road! I'm going to reverse the polarity of my windshield to repel all rain and hail molecules. Roger, I'll hang back! Everything's cool with me, Ironhide! As long as I got my magnet beams locked on your bumper, I can just lay back and leave the driving to you. Polarity switch. On. Ah, much better. Whoa, this wind is really pushing us around. I hope I got enough energy left to keep gears in sight. Ah! Spike! Blow out! Spike! Huh? What? I got a flat. I'll need your help. Just a few astro seconds more and I'll be fine! Show me the progress of my slaves, Doctor. Excellent! The furious powers unleashed by Cybertron's proximity to Earth will soon provide all the energon cubes we need. Thanks for the hand, Spike. Let's roll! Hey, something's happening. What's that noise? Earthquake! Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages.